up everybody welcome back to team fish knuckles youtube channel now we have moved the desk over a little bit and the only thing i'm worried about right now is there's this wall kind of hit it right here so i'm hoping the sound doesn't bounce off the wall into the microphone um i'm going to eventually put something right here to kind of basically kind of muffle the sound or basically so it doesn't bounce back but uh let's let's not talk about that uh this week we're actually going to be covering expanded because this weekend is actually portland Re portland regionals which will be the first expanded tournament of this season now what i've done is i've actually made like a community kind of like i guess top five decks i went out there and said hey what are your top five decks let me know i posted on hey fonte burbank the team fish knuckle faces page which is another reason why you should be following the team fish knuckles page so you can submit your votes and ideas and stuff but uh one rule i kind of made was i don't want to cover decks that i've already kind of covered which we've covered night march we covered archie stories we covered trevenant so to uh for this week we're covering the top five decks uh i think archie uh trevenant was definitely in the top archie stories was top night march actually didn't get a lot of posts so i don't know i guess it's just not that relevant now uh, I guess because of Puzzle Band. But the first deck we're going to start off with is going to be Gardevoir. Now, this deck did get fifth place out of those decks. And this actually is a list made by Travis, Travis Nunless. Uh, he's a writer from Six Prizes. He's a really, really good guy. He has done fantastic with Gardevoir. I think he's handed his list to a couple people as well. And they have played it in expanded tournaments. And uh, him and a bunch of people have voted that Gardevoir is one of the better decks. So thank you, Travis, for the list. Go check out uh, Six Prizes. I'll leave a link down below to his actual author page on six prizes he did make an article about last week i think last week uh we covered some more expanded decks so we'll go check those out but if you notice it's only 58 cards and he actually gave us a good thing to look at um he said there's four cards you can add in the, or four cards you can put in the two spots there's subtle widow giratina orticorio and mewtwo ex it's kind of situational what you want in there but i think the two i want to go for is uh subtle widow uh, Set of is always a good play. Zork is still seeing a lot of play. And just be able to put your opponent's bench on the floor is really good. And the other card I think I'm going to put in there is Giratina. Uh, Giratina does have a way to shut down those break decks. I think that Greninja break and Trevor break will see some popularity this weekend. So I think Giratina is not a bad call at all. And so there we go. There's the Gardevoir deck that we're going to play for today. Now, this week, I'm going to be showing decks uh, and basically how they work. Um, they won't be probably like the perfect perfect list, um, but we're gonna try our best We're basically gonna show these decks off like with Night March and Archer Stories and Trevenant We kind of show how they work. Maybe the list aren't a hundred percent But that's basically what we're trying to do this week is show off different decks and how they work So if you don't know Gardevoir GX is our main attacker. It's got 230 HP in one world uh, Not last year, but the year before and it's got the ability Seeker Spring once during a turn before you attack, you may attach a fair energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. It's any Pokemon and not just Gardevoir, but it has to be a fair energy. And its attack is pretty simple. It is attack does 30 damage times the number of energy attached to both active Pokemon. Uh, so once you get 5, you start doing 150, 6, 180. You can see how the numbers start adding up very quickly, especially with that Seeker Spring attachment. And then it's built, it's GX stack is really good. Shuffle 10 cards from your Scrapel back into your deck. Any 10 cards, fantastic. And that's one of the reasons why Gardevoir is so good. We're playing a 4-2-3 Gardevoir line. We're playing this route because that's Cycle. It's Psychic, which is a big thing. We'll talk about it here in a second. We are playing two Curlia. It's got the Beacon, or back end, I guess. Uh, we can't use back end. Don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Definitely can't use back end because we don't have any Psychic Energies. Uh, but I think it's probably the still better Curlia. Let's look at the Curlias because I just realized we don't play Psychic Energies. Doesn't matter. Uh, 80 HP. Um, maybe, you know, we don't play Psychic. So we'll play this one because it can do 60. I think that's the most amount we see here. So I think we're going to play this one. I think it's probably the better one for sure. And we also play two Glade. Uh, Glade has Premonition, look at the top five cards of your deck, and put them on top of your deck in any order. But it also has Sense of the Blade. It does 60, and you play a Sport card this turn, you do 70 more damage, so 130. And then Zork is still a very big deck, so you can just kind of take Zork's out, Zorks out with this. Also, Guardia is resistant to Zork. So your deck should be able to hand Zork GX pretty easily, and that's going to be the cards right there. We're playing one Orangaroo for the Instruct. You can use Psychic as well. Like I said, Sudowoodo for Roblox to have, uh, they can only have four, four bench spot, which is really good and expanded because Skype fills out. 
and Giratina for the Devourer Light. Now, we didn't play Oracorio or Mewtwo. Like I said, I don't think Oracorio is going to be that needed because I don't think Nom Arch is going to be that played just because the puzzle band is probably going to make people not want to play it. Uh, and I think people want to start new stuff just because Hex was banned and Wally was banned. So we can play all this new stuff. So I think people are trying to, try to play some random stuff this weekend for sure. And then two top you lately uh, for, for, you know, just consistency. So one computer search, discard two cards in your hand, search it for a card to put it to your hand, uh, just for consistency. Two field blower, uh, mainly to get rid of tools off Garbodor. Uh, Garbodor is going to be a big thing, the Garbotoxin. One max potion to heal your Gardevoirs. It's only one, but with Seeker Spring, you kind of have it twice if needed. Uh, two mysterious treasure, which is really good because you can get back your Ralts, or you can get out Ralts, Curly, Giratina, and Tapu Lele. Uh, so help you set up for sure. Or Candy, we're trying to get that turn to Guardi. One stretcher to get Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck. For Ultra Ball, of course, the main way to get our Pokemon. And for Via Seeker, uh, to reuse our supporter cards. I know it's a card, if you're kind of new to the game, you don't know what Via Seeker does, but put a card in your, put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. As well as um, with a computer search, it's an A spec, which you only have one in your deck. I think there's like five or six A specs. Uh, there's computer search, Dallas Machine, Life Do, Scoop Up Cyclone, G Booster. Uh, v piece. Uh, this that's probably the six that are most widely used. There's the crystal wall and the other one for the black harem stuff, which is pretty bad. G boost is probably not used anymore. Victor piece. The three we kind of use in this format is going to be computer. Uh, four we're going to use this format is computer search, douse machine, uh, probably followed by life do and the scoop up cyclone. Those are probably the top four uh, a specs you have to worry about. So the deck let's play three tropical beach. Uh, once during the turn, that player may draw. You have seven cards in their hand. Now you notice there's no Vulpix in the deck, so if you don't have Beaches, Vulpix is probably your next best answer. You can put Vulpixes in there to try to help you set up. Uh, but Chalk Beach is very, very good in this deck. Just to be able to draw if you have seven cards in your hand and to help you set up. Two Brigetti to get the Routes out ASAP. One Colors because you have a full bench. A Gooseberry and a Pokemon with a bench. Two Karina, which lets you just for a Fighty Pokemon and an item card, which this can automatically grab you Rare Candy as well as a Glade, but you can grab Rare Candy and, and maybe no Fighty Pokemon, just so you kind of guarantee the Gardevoir. It's better than a Skylub because you can get a Fighty Pokemon out with it. Uh, it's still pretty good, obviously. So two in, both players shuffle their hands to deck, get six new cards, and one Professor Juniper, discard your hand, draw seven new cards, and one teammate. If a Pokemon is knocked out during your turn, you may search it for two cards and put them into your hand. Only one choice but one Floodstone, it's fine. We're doing an infinite amount of damage. Four DC and six Fairy Energy. So that's the deck. We're going to save it. We're going to play three games of Gardevoir. We're going to see how it does today. I think it's going to do fairly well. Um, like I said, all these decks have high votes. Uh, so we'll go to Gardevoir. I am kind of thirsty. So we'll save Gardevoir. Save your deck. There we go. So Gardevoir is saved. Go to Versus. So we'll play some games of Gardevoir. And uh, yeah, we're, we're expanding because we'll play Su Subat. On uh on Fan Friday, where did Gardevoir they go? There it goes right in front of my eyes. All right, so here we go, Gardevoir. All right, so shout out to Water. What a sponsor! What if Water was a sponsor somehow? All right, so <clears throat> Mathis Max playing a Dragon deck. Now Dragon is very good for us because dragons are usually too fairy. All right, <laughs> Matt. His Max. Maybe Matt is Max or Matt his Max. Don't know how the name goes. Whatever. We lost the coin flip. Uh, the player can't attack on the first turn. Is that new? Has that always been there? I don't remember that clause right there. Alright. So unfortunately, we have to start with Tapu Lele. Good, good, great. Press done. Alright. So let's see. We see a mulligan. Alright. Tapu Lele start. We could put a DC and energy drive. Oh, it's Noivern Gardevoir. Boop, boop. Alrighty, uh, Noivern makes it where you can't use item cards, um, which is great. Garbage and shutdown abilities, but like I said, Noivern is weak to Fairy. Yes, we're dropping Mulligan. There's a DCE, and there's Tapu Lele. So we both started Tapu Lele. Give a round of applause for us, guys. We're doing good here today on this channel. All right, so Ultra Ball, Golden Ultra Ball. Ooh, very nice. Gonna start with the. Plasma Freeze Golden Ultra Ball. He is like I'm expanding. Maybe we should play Golden Ultra Ball um, to try to basically play in old school. <clears throat> but we see Ultra Ball discarding a uh, Double Dragon Delinquent. There is a Tapu Lele Wonder Tag. 
Gonna grab himself a Brigetti here, probably finding a Noibat, Noibat, and a um, Ralts is what I expect. Now, we could counter that with our own Tapu Lele, Wonder Tag, Bridget play. Okay, see Lele, Wonder Tagging, okay. So there's the, oh, it's a two Trubbish and a Noibat, okay. So we're going with the two instead of the one, pass onto our turn, all right. So we get a Ralts, so, but no, we're up Ralts. Well, Ultra Ball, discard Juniper and Karina. Yeah. Okay. Lele Wonder Tag for Bridget. I didn't check to see Bridget in this deck. I'm just hoping it is. Yep, it's in the deck. All right, so grab Bridget here. We will Brigetti for two routes. And then maybe it's set of Wudo. To put his bench down to four, so he can't get another Noi Burn down. Uh, we could go three routes, but I don't think that's pretty much overcast. So we'll go. Oh, goodness, I got the Giratina. Alright, well, this energy drive. Well, that's a useless spot gone the whole game. Great job, Josh Marking. You're a scholar and a gentleman. <sighs> Alright, well, kind of messed up there. E Hammer discarding the DCE. Great. Good thing. Floods don't be active. Uh, blend energy. Okay. Man, if they don't have anything and we're sitting here with the end, I'm going to scream. Retreat. Garbage collection. Uh, discard pile on top of their deck. Uh, what card do they grab? Ultra Ball. Alright, so on our turn, we'll put a Fear to G here. And play in. Maybe should have put on the active. So retreat. Whatever. Uh, mysterious treasure. A rots away for Curlia. All right. So grab Curlia. Put down Curlia. Choice ban it. Done. No tropical beach. Okay. Great. All right. So we got a Curlia out. Um. Hmm. Uh, mysterious treasure, okay. Those are Noivern. It is weak to fairy, so that's good. Alright. Noivern coming down. It's got distort, which we can't use the item cards. It's double dragon. We'll see retreat. We'll see the distort. Can't use item cards. And a Guzma. Bring it up all routes. It's not a knockout. All right, distort for 50. If we top deck a Gardevoir, I will scream. That's a Guzma. Um, so I'm going to Guzma, bring up a, a Lele, Cinnabar, Lele. Put a Energy in the active. Press done. All right. Next turn, we can Karina for an Ultra Ball and a Fighting Pokemon. And then that's why we can get a Gardevoir kind of set up. VS to give her Guzma. Great things are happening here. Alright, come on, Guzma for Curlia. Sit in his Noivern. Distort for 50. Okay, there is a garbage uh, trash lunch coming down. We only have two in the discard pile. Really not that worried. And 50 damage coming down. Great things are happening. So, send up the Lele on our turn. Huh. Stone. So, Karina? Oh, what do we grab here? What do we grab here? What do we grab here? So, grab Sotobudo to thin our deck. And we'll just grab any card, I guess. Alright. <laughs> so, put down Sotobudo. Let's probably discard the Lele with the. Maybe this Lele? Because this one has the Flowstone. Um, Fairy Energy Drive for 80. Okay, on to his turn. I wonder if he has any supporter cards in his hand. Oh, there's a Garbatox and Garbodork on the line. Okay. And a Scythia. Now, if he's only swinging 50 every turn, I really don't care because we're going to out damage him. Okay, there's a Muspin to the active, so he's still in 70. Uh, distort for 50. Okay, on our turn. 
All right, energy drive. All right, which next time we can knock him out. Can he retreat? He can retreat. He's at free retreat. Oh, good. Great. Mm -hmm. There's an knowledge ball. I'm going to throw two cards from his hand. This card's a VS Seeker and an N. Okay. There's another Neuvern. All right. Neuvern coming down. So right now, his guy's only doing 60, which it kind of seems weird that he's playing this. Because, like, this doesn't do much because this is making us not not do us much. All right. Getting a bunch of cards with course. Man, if we find a course, I'd be so happy. Floats to him to Garbotoxin. Okay. Shutting down Seto Wudo. Got it. Another Neuvern hitting the field. Man, if we get one Guardian online. If we get one Guardian, we win. If we get one Guardian online... We should be able to win. So distort. Oh, he retreated. I didn't see the retreat. Sorry. Bridget. Energy drive. I know he's gonna take a knockout, but I'm gonna send in the Garatina. I guess. So Ace roll of the bench. Great, good, great, good, good, great. Great, good, good, great. Do we just concede? I'm tired of playing. Let's just concede. I don't wanna all right, we're good. We we were, if we hit Ray Candy Guardian turn two, we win. Like 100% we win. Uh, but it didn't happen. So whatever. I'm not playing against Neuvern and just waiting to see when we hit that. I mean, if we hit, if we find a chorus and just like manly pop our guys, we win that game. Um, like we just need like two psychic, two Phaedrus, and we just one shot. Um, annoy annoy uh, Neuvern. I'm not gonna sit there and wait. I know that's not very exciting to watch. People might get mad that I can see it. Don't care. On game number two. Zappinator. All right. Good old Zappinator. <clears throat> Do we even count that as a game? Maybe. I don't know. So we won the coin flip. Yes, we'll go first. All right. On to our turn. Um, all righty. Good hands again. So brass done. We can Lele Wonder Tag for three um, Bridgets. And we got the Rare Candy for next turn. There is... A Talon Flame in that. Alright, so this comes down. This comes down. Rigetti coming online. Yep. Alrighty. So we're going to get three cards with Bridget. So Rigetti here. Grabbing one, two. And then I'm going to grab this, the Ranguru. And then we'll just press done. Next turn we can Ultra Ball, discard Karina, whatever. Get a Rare Candy. Gardevoir. Um, instruct for two, maybe, if need to be. So we're having a better turn already. We're having a better game already. Regirock, Zygarde, Talonflame. I have no idea what's happening. But we're going to see Arrow Blitz get two cards in their hand. But immediately, we are going to end that away. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to Ultra Ball, like I said, discard the Karina and something we top deck. Rare Candy for... Or... We can... You know what? i got a better idea. We're going to keep the Karina. Oh, no, but he's with three cards in his hand. That's... Okay, yeah, that's why we're going to end him. Uh, it's Ultra Ball, discard in a Karina. Nope, not that card. This card. Alright, we'll grab that. Ray of Candy. Gardevoir. And Struck for one. See what we find with the one card. So, Field Blower. So, will be a Seeker for N. I don't want him to have those three cards in his hand. I have no idea what they are, but we don't want him to have it. So, we're in here for, th uh, for six and six. Alright, so we can... Oh, man. Mysterious Away Treasure, the Brigetti, to find a Curlia. Alright, so we do have one Curlia prize. Grab a Curlia. We'll put a Curlia down. We will Secret Spring attach. And pass. So next time we have another Gardevoir down, we can start using, like, double Secret Spring... Uh, we just need to find a way to retreat the active. So, three, six, nine. Uh, we actually don't take a knockout. Buzz will come in a line. Okay. I wonder if this deck needs Ace to roll. Ace to roll seems kind of spicy, right? So, strong energy to Zygarde. Cynthia for new hand of six. It does have free retreat. Uh, and his bench base is going to kind of load now. Because we have the Sudden Wood just standing there. There's a Deontay. So, this is a knockout. Land Pulse, 20, 40. 60, 70, 80, 90. That's actually a knockout. All right. But can we one-shot Zygarde? 
I don't know. Is it worth one shot of Zygarde? I don't know that as well. All right, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I mean, we can. We did get kind of lucky here. We'll put down Tropical Beach. Seeker Spring to the active. I guess we'll go for the one shot. And Struck for three. Okay, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Now, yeah, we'll just put this here with Juniper. We should be able to hit it. All right, so we will Seeker Spring to the active. Um, Infinite Force for knockout. Yeah. There we go. All right, so you said a Buzzwell. Can Buzzwell knock us out? Let's see. Maybe. If it doesn't knock us out, we're trying to DC. We're going to find out this guard of war pretty much go crazy. So let's see. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. Uh, nope. All right, so on to our turn. We got 60 HP left. So put down. Oh, no. Hold on. We rescue shirt or VS seeker for Karina. All right. We will Karina. For a Glade Rare Candy. So now we've got the Rare Candy Glade. Alright. So a Rare Candy Glade. We will... Seeker Spring. Fair to the active. DC here. Mysterious Treasure Way the Curly for another Routes. Uh, actually, we'll save it. Just in case we need Tapu Lele. We'll feel below our way the Tropical Beach. Premonition remains top three cards of our deck. Uh, or top five, sorry, not three. Lele's good, and the other cards are irrelevant. So we're going to guarantee a Lele next time we can do whatever we want with it. Uh, maybe we should put Max Potion next. That would have been nice to have. But if it enforced for the knockout, all right, 210. Go down to three. We get an Ultra Ball, okay. We can also probably the Guzma or whatever for a Ralts. Um, because we play three candy, we have one left. Uh, so we should be fine. I mean, I don't think we can lose this game. There's pretty much no one we can lose. I'd be very shocked if we do lose. Uh, he can send the Buzzwell. Buzzwell can punch us for a knockout, but then this Gardevoir takes a knockout. His only option right now is he has Beast Ring or something on the new Buzzwell. So, Flowstone on the Red Rock, Cynthia for New Hand of Six. If he gets like B String Buzzwell, he could do some damage, whatever, get set up, but then the guard of the. We'll just send up the, uh, the top of Lele and just Guzma for the bench guy. So, okay, fighting people the active. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We're still one shot again, unfortunately. So, we'll sit up Gardevoir, put a DC to it. I don't think he one shot us after that. Uh, let's put this here. Well, Premonition, top five of cards of our deck. Um, blah, 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 blah. I need cards to discard. So we discard this, and the rest are going to be irrelevant. Yep. So grip these. We will infinite force for the knockout. 180. Okay, go down to 2. We find an ultra ball. All right, so ultra ball can discard some stuff. We can grab Guzma, but I don't know who we bring up right now. Maybe the Red Drop, but we don't have an answer for it just right now. We're gonna draw a card. I mean, I don't know what else they can really do. Like, Buzzwell doesn't really do anything. Uh, they can't use B strings now, so pretty much out of that. So, Gardevoir, it looks like it's gonna take gain number two. So, Skyla. Not sure what the Skyla will get from my opponent. Um, there's a Brooklyn Hill. Okay. My, my plan is to Ultra Ball, just go Ultra Ball, whatever. Um, and then top five to see what we can find there. We can just one shot the town flame if we want to. We're definitely gonna ultra ball for new routes. There's a buzzword GX coming down. That's what I'm talking about. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Max elixir. Gonna fill it. Energy, okay. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So we need oh, we actually can't one shot this right now, unfortunately. Okay. Huh. Alrighty. Hmm. What do we do, guys? 
Alright, on to our turn. We'll Ultra Ball away the Ultra Ball Giratina. Throw a Routes. Alright. Put down the Routes. Use Premonition. Does not help us at all. That's not a hand we want to see at all. I don't care about this hand. Uh, there's no energy or Flustone to like retreat or anything. Because if there's a Flustone energy, what I was going to do is Guzma then Flustone energy back. So this hand's unplayable right now. So I'm just going to Via Seeker for N. <clears throat> uh, get those cards out of his hand. Take a knockout. Go down to one. I don't think he can take a knockout back. So we'll go for N here. Yeah, we'll go for N. Uh, we'll both get new hands. He gets three, we get two, but we have a guard of our smack on the face for knockout. There's a field blower as well to get rid of the Brooklyn Hill and the Flustone. We can ring her for two. So we discard one and two. Okay. We will instruct for two. See what we got here. All right. Um, we'll infinite first knockout. Doing plenty of damage. Going down to one, we find a Fear Energy. All right, so the Fear Energy can... I mean, we take a knockout. The only one we can't knock out right now is Reggie Rock. So since it's the Buzzwell, I guess we can't knock out Buzzwell either. But I don't think Buzzwell can knock us out. It's pretty impossible. Let's see. Beast Energy is a strong energy. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, he needs to do 80. Like, there's no way he wins here. Like, we're just going to bop him in the face with a knockout. Yep, Jet Punch, and we'll Fair Energy Deactive. Just trying to do much damage. So let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 30, 40. So yeah, just Fair Energy Deactive, and we'll just, you know. Infinite Force for the knockout. There we go. Took it away against Buzzwell GX. All right, and there's a DC to top it off. So there we go. That's a pretty good guarded game, right? Still haven't seen the use of Tropical Beach, but we'll play one more game with the deck, and uh, we'll see what happens here with Gardevoir GX. So press. Okay, I got two. Two treasure chests, maybe one down to a vote video opening all my treasure chests because we have a ton of those. I don't know what they get, but we can open them up and see if they're useless to get, I guess, right? Well, this is a, so I have like a random Ranguru just chilling on my desk while we're playing a Ranguru. Look at there. Look at there, guys. Look at that horse. Alrighty. So on to game number three, what deck do we want to play against? I want to see maybe a Zark deck so we can... Uh, because right now you have no idea. Uh, I, there's a Zork deck coming. I just don't know what I'm going to build with it. Obviously, Zork is a very sought out deck. There's two different versions we could play. There's Zork Eggs and Zork Garboder. Um, so I'm not sure which one to play right now. But waiting for opponent to load the game. I guess in game number one, we kind of saw how like uh, Noivern Seismitoad kind of is. Like if you kind of get set up, you can win. But if you don't get set up, you just like lose. I guess this is with any deck. But with Noivern and Sizetro, they're both item locking you. While Trevenant, it's not that bad. Um, this hand is terrible. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I hope we hit a Tropical Beach so we can at least show that off. We have not seen a beach play once from us. So, three Pokemon coming down for opponent. Okay. Speaking of Seismitoad, way to end the deck off. Way to end the deck off. So Flowstone the Trubbish. Shebe EX coming down. Set up for three. Okay. Toad. Okay, nothing. Okay, good. If he does not hit a rare candy, we are looking good. <coughs> if he does not hit rare candy, we are looking good here. We got rare candy guardy, curly on the bench, uh Trubbish come down. Feelable way, the choice band, great. He's got a DCE. Super scoop up Shaman. Tails, all right. All right, rare candy, Gardevoir. Put down Curlia. Uh, we just don't have anything, unfortunately. If we top deck a fairy, we're good. That's all I gotta say. Hypno Toxic Laser. There it is. The one and the only Hypno. Are we asleep or awake? Tells we are just poison. Uh, Garboder Trash Lunch going down in 10 for poison. Alright. Well, this is a great game to see right now. 
Great things are happening right now. Tapu Lele Wonder Tag for Cynthia or Juniper. Find you that DC, buddy. Supernova Glory. All right, Sycamore. Good for you. Uh huh. I can't believe we haven't found an Ultra Ball, Mysterious Treasure, or anything. Ooh, Shadow Triad. Look at him being fancy. Rock Guard, stop. Stop! Stop! This is another ace deck I forgot to talk about. All right. Great things are happening. Great things are happening. Why did we find a mysterious treasure after Heatquake had punched us? Oh, oh, praise be. All right. What's he got here? There's a Garber Toxin Garber to come online. You better believe it. Okay, Quake and Punch. <laughs> Find me a Goose by this turn. Okay. Oh, we can't put that. Don't you look at that, Josh. Don't you dare look at that Tapu Lele. <laughs> uh, Tapu Lele is not good for you, Josh, because. <laughs> You can't use it right now because this thing right here. This little thing right here. Another 40 damage. Alrighty. Okay. We'll just keep on loading. Let me see the E hammer, buddy. 40, 50, 60. Alright, cool. So we got two more turns. I'm trying to load this Guardian. I'm trying to find a supporter card. Anything water energy to size me toad? Quake and punch. Okay, we're not knocked out yet. Ralts. Pass. Alright, if we find a fear to we can take a knockout next turn. If we can we find a supporter car, please? Alright, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. If we top deck a supporter card, we will take a knockout. I mean, fair to G. Not a supporter card. Fair to G. DCE something. Alrighty. Juniper, I think great things are coming right now. Find me the play. There we go. So, fair to G here. Infinite Force for the knockout. We will get bopped with 60, but we got out of four. Rare Candy, Curlia. Oh, we found a Curlia. We got a card for the following turn. Okay. We get a one shot as Toad back. Okay. Does he have water G? Does he have like eh, some stuff in his hand? What's happening right now? My phone's buzzing. Team Snapchat sent me a snap. Thanks, Team Snapchat. You're the best. Alrighty. There's a Tauros. Come down. Okay. There's a Hypnotosk Laser. Okay. Tails. I wonder if he plays Verbank. Team Flare Ground discarding the DCE. There we go. Uh, but does he have anything? All right, Teresa Toros. If only we had the field blower in our hand, we'll be good to go. Uh, what we might use this turn is a second to like just tropical beach. Three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. So we're rare candy. This thing. Uh, Bridget for one, two. Mysterious Treasure Away Curlia for nothing. We have the Guzman hand index, that's good. Put down Tropical Beach, put down Giratina, and then Beach for five. Alrighty. Well, that, I mean, we got Field Wars, so that's good. Alright. So he can field blow away the floodstone if he can't attack with with toad this turn. So field blow away the tropical beach. Okay. Pass on to our turn. Alrighty. So let's see here. So we can field blow away the floodstone. 
Lele Wonder Tag, yes. To grab a Karina. Yep, some of Karina here for Rare Candy. Alright, so grab Karina. Karina for Rare Candy. Oh yeah, Karina <laughs> Rare Candy. Okay, no fighting Pokemon, just fine. We can Rare Candy, Gallade. DC the active. Seeker Spring to the active. Does he have enough for knock on next turn? Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 160. Ooh, that is enough. Um, Tropical Beach. Maybe we should have waited the premonition. Whatever. So Fair to G. Then we'll follow up with, a, uh, with an N. Because we'll top deck that next. And the rest cards don't matter. That's what I think is the correct play. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Oh, we actually don't have enough right now. So, instruct for one, which will get us to Fairy G. Then we take a knockout here. Woo! 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And there we go. Now we'll infinite force for knockout. Wait, do we have any Fairy G's left? Which I guess it doesn't matter. We Glade can take a knockout on Garbodor. Uh. Alright, now we have fair just left. Alright, so Garbodor coming up onto our opponent's turn, okay. We've got in next turn, so we can put a DCE and in. Okay. So Fear Belt, the Seismi Toad. Super Rod. Which Glade can one shot a Shaman as well. Um, because it's 110 HP. Oh, maybe we should have said oh we have Glade. we didn't have Glade at first, that's why. Special charge, back in some special energies, okay. There's just one DCE. Ultra Ball, wait, two cards. See what he's going for. An Ultra Ball, Dece, E, okay. Not gonna find anything. Shea Bay coming down, gonna set it for five. All right. So Garb takes a knockout, Dece, E, we take him a knockout, okay. And then maybe his Garb comes back and punches us, but he's already played two lasers. There's a VS Seeker. What's he going to grab here, I wonder? I wonder what card. He doesn't have an energy yet. So if he goes for in, he is going to go for in here. He's going to end himself down to four. Oh, of course, for 10. Okay. That's a better play. I was thinking in for four, trying to find a psychic energy. You're insane. All right. So there's a laser. So it looks like he doesn't have it. Yeah, it does not look like he has it right now. Um, if that's the case, so Ehammer the active, 3, 6, 9, 12. We can take we can win the game next turn. Oh, just kidding. Okay. <clears throat> so on our turn. 3, 6, 9, 12. Um, do we just punch him in the face? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Uh, so we can put a DC on it, but then I'm scared of his Lele knocking us out, which is what I'm really concerned about. So we can retreat the two into Glade. In. Take a knockout. It's Toad punches in the face. But then we have a Gardevoir that's like slightly hurt. So I think putting it here. Play in. We get two. He gets four. That's fine. Chorus and VS Seeker. Those are two of the best cards to see right now. Alright, so we will... 3, 6, 9, 12. Do we just hold, do we have Guzma to scrap out? It doesn't matter. Yeah, we, uh, we can't use it anyway. See, I think we'll retreat. Save us for being knocked out right now. And just go sit to the blade for knockout. Do we need a VS Seeker for anything? We need a VS Seeker for something because he's going to punch us in the face next turn. Uh, so we'll VS Seeker for a Juniper. And this is the blade for knockout. All right. So 130, go down to one. We find an Ultra Ball, which we can coach for 10 next turn, which is really, really good, obviously. <clears throat> he needs a Water Energy or DC here. All right, there's a size throw coming up. How many lasers? He's like three lasers, right? Three lasers. What is that? Tell us for Crush Namer, and that's good. There's a Toad coming down, okay. We're about to coach for 10. DC, yeah, unless he, <gasps> unless he delinquents here. Uh, nope, just quick punch. All right, so 43, 6, 9, 12, 15. 
If we find DC here, we win. So Kohler's for 10. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Oh, we actually don't win. Shuckles. Uh, fear did you hear? Sensitive blade, which he's not w knocking us out either next turn, unless he like water G grenade tamer, but then he like un un makes it where we can like use our item cards again. Uh, so it's not looking good for our point our friend here. So Ace roll the active. Uh, gonna send the new toad. Unless he has e hammer, he does not win here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Actually, he, uh, no, we just goose up a shame and win. Or guard or whoever want to. It's fine. Doesn't matter. We have game. Guzma for game. All right, so there we go. There's Gardevoir. You see, under Toad Lock, we can beat it. Uh, we did struggle round one against Noivern, but, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We'll Guzma up his Garb and, uh, bring up our Gardevoir GX. Don't want to kill a Shebe. That's, my favorite Pokemon, Shaman, just, you know, don't want to hurt Shebe. I literally have three Shamans staring at me right now. So that's why I couldn't hurt Shaman EX. But guys, there we go. There's Guardi GX. Uh, really good deck. I think it's, uh, I think, yeah, obviously it shows his weight and gold. We unfortunately lost to Noivern, which can happen against item like decks. Uh, game number two, we saw the deck just destroy Buzzwall. We, we know how it works. In the game three, we actually took care of a Toad deck. Uh, they didn't find their DC and stuff like that, so we were able to take it down. So, guys, there we go. There's Guardi GX. Um, like I said, we'll play four of the decks this week. We'll see how that goes. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow for our next uh, video. We're not going to give any secrets out. We're not going to tell what decks they are. We'll just wait till they're published. Alrighty, bye.